All right, so this is the valve lash adjustment for all Yamaha CP3 engines 2014 till 2020. This specifically is for a 2019 Yamaha Tracer 900. I'd recommend replacing your spark plugs every 27,000 miles per the service interval of your valve lash adjustment check. Uh, replace your valve, your cam chain tensioner gasket, uh, and replace the bolts that are on there. These are much easier to work with. These are M6 by 1.0 by 20 millimeters with a 10 millimeter head. And your new shims that you buy from the dealership are about three to five dollars each. Lay out your paperwork as such. Your current spec is what you're going to be measuring with your feeler gauges. You can use either of these type. And once you get that measurement and also the current shim spec, so these are from off of the engine. They're all numbered. So make sure that number coincides with the measurement you get with your digital vernier caliper. Uh, plug that into your dirtcloud.com uh, valve lash adjustment calculator, and then that'll auto-generate a number for you, which you'll then buy from the dealership. And then these are the various tools that you will need. That half-inch ratchet will be to remove that cap, which is located on the left side of the engine. Remove this access port, and you'll see if it's at the dash mark, which is top dead center, which is what you'll use to measure, get your valve clearance uh, measurements. And then when you're going to disassemble everything, Make sure you go ahead and set it to 125 degrees before top dead center, which is the triangle mark we'll show here. Then make sure your dots on your intake and exhaust cams line up with the cam caps dashes. And you'll know that everything's at 125 degrees before top dead center. Uh, and then you'll need various tools here. These swivel Allen keys will be useful for removing the individual throttle body uh, clamps there. Uh, your four and five millimeter Allen keys, and then this is your offset ratcheting wrench, which is what you're gonna need to install the new bolts for your cam chain tensioner. You don't need to remove the radiator. Uh, you will not lose any fluid. There's just one small hose that you need to remove up top. Uh, remove your fan assembly. There's one plug there, which will prevent it from dropping all the way down. And then remove also your horn. And then before you disassemble all the components to, to get your shims out, mark your chain there with the gears on the intake and exhaust and then this will come out fully extended in order to compress it back in like you have as such you're going to need to cut a three millimeter uh, allen key turn it counterclockwise and it'll retract it all the way and then you'll install it as such once you have everything back in pull the tensioner so that that completely ex extends out and then turn the engine counterclockwise and make sure all the timing marks are good and then you can start to reassemble everything and that'll be all.